The concept is known as the gravity train, and though it seems inconceivably difficult to construct, it has received some serious scientific attention. The basic concept behind the gravity train is straightforward. At the end of each tunnel, the observer looking into the hole would see a downward slope. If a train at one end of the tunnel were to release its brakes, the force of gravity would immediately pull the train downhill and cause the train to accelerate much like a roller coaster. Steeper slopes would result in more speed, with the highest acceleration occurring in the straight down tunnels which cross the Earth's center. The train would continue to accelerate until reaching its halfway point, at which time its inertia would be at odds with gravity and it would begin to decelerate. As Hooke's data indicates, if the train operated in a frictionless environment, it would reach the surface on the opposite side of the tunnel at the exact moment that its speed reached zero. Of course, friction exists in the real world, so it would need a little bit of a boost to reach the other side because it would lose some energy. One very interesting property of the gravity train is that its transit time would always be very, very close to 42 minutes regardless of the distance traveled. In fact, if the Earth were a perfect sphere, the trip time would always be exactly 42 minutes and 12 seconds. Greater distances would be traversed in the same amount of time as short ones because the train's maximum speed would be increased enough to exactly make up for the difference in distance. 